this episode. I don't normally do this, but um, you guys might know that I'm a big fan of uh, online purchase of games like digital copy. And uh, some of you on Facebook have been asking me where do I get my games or, or game codes and my PSN codes for the PS4 games that I get. And the answer is at G2A.com. And uh, I will have a link in the description from now on as well as a discount code that you can save a little bit of money on. But now it's time to get into the actual action in this episode. And we have the first match against Figurense. Or I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But something uh, odd happens in this match. Cole actually starts the match on the substitutes bench which hasn't happened so far. And um, right away... Pretty early in the first half, they concede, Krasima concede, and I was like, this is scripted, and they're probably gonna need Cole to bring them back into the lead and not lose this game. But uh, no, it is that does not happen because the team gets two goals by themselves without Cole even being subbed on, and uh, Cole does get put on in the 81st minute. How, that's just uh, ridiculous, like, what do you expect him to do? Uh, he didn't couldn't even get a shot on and then to make matters worse the opposition gets another goal with Cole on the pitch this time and Cole can't do anything about it so they bring it back to 2-2 and as you know Chris Umar are undefeated so far and uh, they always chase the three points but even a draw is not too bad and check this out right here kickoff glitch OP the through ball comes Cole is away first time shot and he puts it just wide of the target how awesome would it have been if Cole had put that away. Uh, super sub, yes please, but unfortunately he cannot. And the match ends at 2-2 for Chris Yuma. And again, they don't drop any points, but it's only a draw. And because um, this match was very short, because obviously Cole was the substitute and everything, I'm going to have three more matches other than this one. So four matches for this episode. But before we uh, get into the second match, no, don't worry, I'm not going to promote anything else. But remember last time I showed you the, the league table and Chris Yuma were undefeated and number one well pretty much I was curious to see what Chris Yuma are like in real life and so I, so I look up the real life Liga do Brasil Serie A table and check this out Chris Yuma you can't see them anywhere well let's scroll down and let's find out where they are that is right they are in the very last spot in 20th place pretty much almost guaranteed relegation at this point unless they just turn around com their season completely as we move on into the second match against Sport Recife but pretty much I was thinking what is the cause of Chris Yuma doing so well in this Become a Legend um, a game mode that we're playing is it Cole by himself? I mean it's not a one-man team football is about it, the team game and you can see that even when Cole is not playing like in, this, in the first match he was a substitute and the team really didn't need him they got the goals without him and they keep getting good results without Cole actually performing in all the matches as we get probably the best team goal in the series so far. How many passes was that to lead into Cole's uh, feet to score the goal? Now he probably shouldn't have even asked for the pass in that final third because the, the teammate pretty much had it down. But um, it's still a very nice move. Like look the teammate could have shot right here but Cole wanted the ball anyway and he guaranteed the goal for the team. But as I was saying though as Cole gets substituted you're gonna... Uh, see exactly what I mean, not in this match though, that uh, we do win with Cole's goal. So Cole getting all three points for Chris Yuma in this match. But overall, Cole isn't necessarily the one that wins matches for Chris Yuma. He does help a lot and I'm sure he has, um, maybe he has a very high morale boost to the team. But uh, for some reason, Chris Yuma are performing very well in my uh, Become a Legend. As opposed to real life where they're just doing pretty bad. So yeah, it, it was just kind of something that got me thinking uh, what would it really be the cause because the team just performed so well in this match as Cole almost gets an assist here but the teammate unfortunately cannot put it on target and he gets subbed in the 60th minute. That's pretty early even for us to be subbed. But um, the team again gets a wonderful goal without Cole on, Cole on the pitch and they get to one nil ahead against Santos. Um, and by the way, how cool does Rain look in PES 2015? I wanted to say this for a long time, but you know, you might not know actually that in um, last year in PES 2014, they didn't have Rain because FIFA pretty much had it licensed to their game only. How dumb is that to put a copyright on Rain? But uh, fortunately, it's not the case this year. I don't know what happened, but the um, Rain looks very realistic in the PES 2015. Now the final match is against Internacional, and um, we have a very just uh, an awesome looking leap to get the header there Cole is not the tallest he's about 5859 five, but a brilliant leap to get the header there we just don't win headers from corners but then 
we score a fantastic goal on the right foot. I think he let the, the ball drop. I don't. I think it was kind of a half volley, but a great pass into Cole's feet and a great finish um, to put the team 1-0 ahead. Look at that. And I actually looked at the replay, and I'm not going to show you that close up, but it was a little... A little derpy because kind of Cole's foot went through the other player's foot. I was just curious how Cole really got on the end of that ball, but that's how his foot went to the through the defender's foot. But it doesn't matter. It's a goal. And um, speaking of goals, the team gets the opposition the international get one back with uh, some pretty bad defending. And Rafael Mura, no idea if he's actually related to Lucas Mura, but uh, he does put the team back one one. And the our keeper cannot believe it. Pretty much any everyone just gives it their all in this team for results, and that's that is probably why the team is performing so well. But another goal without Cole on the pitch, exactly what I'm saying. Cole, he might be the golden boy for Chris Yuma, but he's definitely not the entire team, which is how it should be, in my opinion. And um, I don't know why I didn't have it on maximum speed at this point. I usually just kind of want to skip through the rest of the match when we get subbed, but I, I think I was distracted and I wasn't really looking. But uh, we have regular speed and we get two goals there and it does end three to one so another good win remains undefeated Chris Yuma in this and Cole gets 7.5 match rating hope you guys enjoyed this become a legend episode and leave a like if you did I've been Shay thank you for watching goodbye